expression engine comes with native relationships out of the box. So any channel entry can be related to any other channel entry that you might want to use. Today, we're going to add a relationship field to our blog channel so that we can relate content to one another. So with that said, let's build. Expression Engine's relationship field type is one of its most robust and powerful features that come right out of the box. In it, you can take all of your channels and just relate them back and forth to one another. You can then call them inside of your templates in a number of different ways. So let's take a look at the documentation. Always a great place to start. Uh, we're going to go through the field options a little bit later. Uh, so let's take a look at the template tags. So what's cool about relationship tags are not only can we pare them down in the field settings, but even in the template, we can use parameters to limit uh, those relationships by author, by channel, by status, whatever it might be. And one of the most powerful features is how we're able to access those relationships back and forth. So let's take a deeper dive into that real quick before we add our field and add it into our template. So let's take a look at how relationships work in Expression Engine and how we're able to pull them into the templates. This will be helpful for us understanding the field type and how we're doing this uh, as we go. So let's say, for example, that you have a channel in your site called Program, basically like a program of the business that you're, you're uh, doing the site for. This is going to act as our parent channel here. And let's say that each program has many events. These are, you know, different kind of things you can throw on a calendar that are related specifically to that program. In this, we're going to create a channel called events. And that's going to uh, make the parent channel our program and the event channel our children in this. So for example, and the most basic example, the one that we're going to build today, is how to get the children of that relationship. So what events are related to that program that's being called in the template? So when you can see down at the bottom, uh, we have our channel entries loop that is uh, calling in the program channel, and then our field called events, uh, which is just going to loop through all of the events assigned and display each of the fields. Now, that's the most basic example. What's great about Expression Engine relationships is that we can then call against the parent of the relationship. So let's say we just visit that specific event page and we want to say, well, what program is this associated with? You can look at the bottom and see how we're doing this. We're calling our channel entry loop in the event channel and we're going to use Expression Engine's parents tag associated with our events field in order to get the program that it's associated with, as well as all programs that it may be associated with. So an event could belong to different parents within your channel. This will pull them all in. Also, what if we wanted to see events that were in the same program? We can get the siblings in that relationship. So an event is related to a program in the events field that we've created. And as multiple events are assigned there, we can then loop through them with Expression Engine's siblings tag. And we do the same thing what we did with the uh, parent tag here. We have our program channel entries loop, and then we're calling the siblings tag with the field events for our event tag. And then it'll loop through all uh, three of those events that are assigned here. And so let's take a look and let's actually build out our relationship tag inside of our blog so we can relate our content back and forth. All right, so let's add in our relationship field now. So let's take a look at our field section. Uh, I'm in uh, back end of our site, developer uh, fields. And we're gonna look at our blog group here. We have our two fields that we've created so far. What we're gonna do now is add in our new field. So I'm gonna click new field. And I'm going to choose my relationship field. And we're going to call this related blogs. And what's great about the relationship field is that you have a load of settings that you can choose from, uh, including the channel to relate. So since we're only doing related blogs, we're going to click that. 
We can include expired entries or futured entries uh, depending on the date that you select. Uh, we can also limit by categories, author status, all sorts of things. And what's great too is you can add this uh, allow multiple relationships. So if you have a relationship field and you only want to access one entry in that relationship, you can deselect that. We want a couple, so we are going to allow a few. So with that, I'm gonna hit save and we have our new field. So now let's go over to our entries. Oops, so if I go to blog, there we go. And let's go to our very first blog here. Great. So as we can see down here at the bottom, we have our related blogs. Uh, I'm gonna click relate entry and it'll bring up all of the relationships that we have so far. Um, so I'm just going to easily just add those two in there real quick. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. You can also add a new entry directly from a relationship too, which is great. Um, not necessarily in our use case, but if you're adding something like a, you know, a card to a UI, that kind of thing, um, you can just click that new entry and it'll bring up the exact entry form for um, that channel that is related. So, but right now we have our blog too and our, have you seen this cat blog? So I'm gonna click save. And now let's actually go back to our page. So if I go to our very first blog. So you can see here right now, I have uh, the beginning uh, relationship tags kind of in there, but not really. So what we're going to do is change this to related blogs. And we're gonna change our closing tags. Make that a little bit bigger so you can see. There we go. So I have a related blogs and the, anytime you're using a relationship, that's going to be a tag pair. So we have our related blogs and then down here at the bottom, we have our closing related blogs tag. So if I just do that without changing the other tags inside and I go back to our page, I'm gonna refresh. You can see it's bringing in two entries, which is the number of entries we related. However, it's showing the same entry that we're on. So what we're gonna do here um, inside of a relationship tag, your tag pairs need to be namespaced. So that means since our URL title, um, our little uh, slugified title of our um, relationship field is called related underscore blogs, we need to add that to the fields that we're using. So we're using this featured image here. So I'm just gonna show you this real quick, adding in the namespacing there. And I refresh that. And now we have our kitties cat coming up. All right, so now I have to add that to the rest of them. I'm gonna copy that and we're gonna change that. And that, and that. And our title and there we go. So we can see too that our, um, that even with namespaced, uh, we can still use our uh, variable modifiers, which is nice. And we'll do that, and we'll do that. Let's take a look. There we go. And now we have much happier content, and we can now relate our blogs back and forth. We can see the content associated with each of those, and we can add as many as we want. So uh, that is relationship fields in a nutshell. So we'll see you in the next one.